Hello there, you're watching Dansky and in this two minute tutorial, we're going to learn how to create custom font weights in Illustrator. So I've created a new artboard and I'm going to grab the type tool, just left click and you can see it types some default text. I'm going to change this to the word custom and just position this in the center of the screen. Now I find this especially useful in logo design. Let's go up to the character panel and you can see I have the font Myriad Pro selected. Some fonts have one style, some have four, it depends. This one we've got lots of different versions here. We've got regular, semi-bold and bold, but we don't have a light version or a thinner version and we don't have like a, an extra bold or a super chunky bold. So if I wanted that, I can then go and create this myself. So I'll select bold and then go to type and down to create outlines. Now the downside is that this text is no longer editable. However, if we go to the stroke panel, I can increase the stroke weight and you can see you can do this to the decimal point so you get maximum precision. So I could even make this ever so slightly bolder if that's what I was going for or I could make it extra extra bold. So we'll go for we'll go for four points on the stroke and I can preview this by turning the stroke off. So you can see I've made this font a little bit bolder. Now what I can do is go to object and expand. What this will do is it will expand the fill and the stroke. So you can see that the stroke is now no longer editable, but I have this all as a fill. So I can change the color if I wanted to. And if I go into outline mode, that's command or control Y, you can see with the expanded stroke, it looks like this. We kind of have lots of paths inside paths and it's very confusing. And if we wanted to do more work on this, all these paths, it could cause a problem. However, we can solve this by simply dragging over everything, going to window and down to Pathfinder and just select the top left option, Unite. Everything that is selected will be united together into a complete path. And then we can come out of outline mode, Command or Control Y. And you can see we can still no longer edit the text, but we've created our custom text with a custom font weight. And there we go, that's how to create a custom font weight in Illustrator.